Welcome to Albert S. Cook Library at Towson University. This brief video will share some helpful information on finding scholarly peer-reviewed journal articles using Cook OneSearch. As always, we're going to begin our academic research by navigating to libraries.towson.edu. We'll use Cook OneSearch today. Cook OneSearch searches multiple library databases at the same time. Let's start by picking search terms to describe our topic. In this case, let's learn about the history of the United States Congress. Type United States Congress history into the search bar. Putting quotation marks around the search term United States tells library databases to search for this exact phrase. Select search. And on the next page, you'll be prompted to sign in. Select Towson students and staff, and notice we went from 38,000 results to over 48,000. Next, let's review those results. There are a lot of books included, but we're looking for academic journal articles today. So, using the search bar menu, let's change what we're searching for from all to articles. We do see more articles listed, but we're also seeing web resources and edited books. That's because there are a lot of different kinds of articles, not just scholarly peer-reviewed ones. We also see some printed books that are located on campus. We need to refine results again. This time, let's select peer-reviewed journals plus available online, and then apply the filter. That gives us just under 10,000 results. So let's refine results one more time to adjust creation date. Let's search for articles that were published in the last 10 years. We'll type 2014 in the from box, then select refined, and excellent. We now have just under 3,000 results. When we're happy with the sources in our search results, we can try opening some of the articles. To start reading an item immediately, select Available Online Hyperlink. To learn more about an item, select its title. When we select the title, we gain access to additional options using the new left-hand column. Let's save this article to read later by using the Send To function. Let's select the chain icon to copy the permalink then paste the permalink into whatever document we're using to track our sources. Next, let's get the citation for this item. Select the citation style by scrolling the list of options. In this case, let's select APA. Now copy the results and paste them into your doc. Finally, to read the article, select either Get PDF or Read Online. Have more questions? You can contact us by chat, email, phone call, text, or individual appointment. Learn more at bit.ly slash tu ask a librarian. Thank you for watching this video and remember we're here to help.